All right, so we're back with a second video for the CZP-07 stealth pistol, the one that the uh, camera can't focus on. This is for the CZP-07. And this is a semi-automatic pistol, something known uh, to the old-timey crowd as the as an autoloader. It automatically loads each cartridge into the chamber uh, as it is cycled under its own power when it's firing. So each time the trigger is pressed, it will load another round into the chamber. But it only it has to be loaded the first time. So kind of the cycling and operation of this gun being is it's a uh, recoil operated pistol. This means that in this case the barrel is actually floating inside the frame and inside here uh, it's it's retained it can't go anywhere but it still is floating. So if we watch very carefully um, if I can get this in focus for just a second the barrel actually moves and it moves about the first eighth of an inch under recoil. After that, it's actually cammed out of the way. So you see a drop there. Drops down out of the way. So it's a tilt barrel design. Now, tilt barrel uh, recoil operated design. So the barrel itself is the thing that is the primary pusher in here because it contains the uh, cartridge and the, and the bullet exiting. So we know each action has an equal and opposite reaction. The barrel is the thing pressing rearward. Okay, so it impels the slide rearward to uh, eject the the spent cartridge, and then the it stores the uh, the energy in the action spring, which uh, then presses the slide back forward and into battery, and that would strip a cartridge off of the magazine and into the chamber, so it would be ready for firing again. So that is a is the the way that that gun cycles. It feeds off of the the magazine, and then it loads into the chamber, ejects from the chamber, loads a new one in. That's an auto loader, and it's every time the trigger is pressed when it's loaded. So in the next video, we'll cover loading and unloading, and then we can move on to the um, the safe operation of the pistol in uh, safety and then other techniques for dry practice and, and getting yourself to where you know how to operate the gun and you're, and you're very practiced.